Hello my people, Jeff the King here and welcome to another building talk and today as I said in last episode the topic we are going over is bullies and well I do feel I have a bit of a knowledge of this. I, I was bullied in high school like uh, a lot of people and uh, it's mainly because I'm pretty much a bit of a geek, a bit of a nerd, whichever you want to call it. I'll, I call it nerds. It, I, don't really see much of a difference. There's technically differences, but everyone just calls it whatever the bloody want, so who cares? But I can't really say exactly. Uh, my advice is what I'm trying to say. It won't be the best in the world. It'll be. Uh, I'll, I'll try my best, but at the same time, uh, even though I was bullied, it wasn't the kind of situation where I just stood there and took it like a lot of people do. Uh, I, I did for like the first three years of high school, and that was pretty torturous and I can understand the situation where people just don't feel like they can do anything back because they're outnumbered, they just don't have confidence in their own strength or for whatever various reason they just sit there and take it, maybe because they just think they're better than it, which is the case for a lot of people. A lot of people think they're just better than what those bullies are and if they start fighting back they'll be no better than what the bully is in the first place and for me, after the three years it finally... Uh, kind of got to me. <laughs> I uh, started getting anger problems is the only way I can really put it. There's no no other way to say it really. I actually ended up having to go to uh, therapy for it and everything which it actually did work. It solved it. I, I do have anger problems still now and when I get angry God help anyone that's made me angry but well I've not been angry for like six freaking years at the moment. I, I've had like mini anger explosions where it just gets to me and I uh, break down emotionally but not in the way that I used to where I just become angry at everyone and everything that was around me and well yeah but in high school I did and again God help the people that made me angry but by, uh, by the end of high school I, well I'll, I'll go for one specific instance, which was probably one of the worst, in fact no, two, two of the worst instances that have ever happened to me when I exploded in anger. Uh, the first one was one of the less serious ones, because I got quite easily stopped, was when I tried to attack my PE teacher with a tennis racket, and, well, my PE teacher was built like a brick shit house. <laughs> there is no other way to put it. Uh, it ended badly for me. Obviously he was a PE teacher, I didn't get hit or anything, but he he pinned me against a fence and restrained both my hands right in the flash of an eye. So no nothing bad came out of that and because of the anger problems and stuff that I had I didn't really get in too much trouble for it. Uh, the second instance I got in no trouble for it whatsoever because I, w I was getting picked on inside one of my classes so the teachers understood, they knew the problems I was having and even though I then attacked these, uh, well, one of the bullies with by throwing a chair at him, uh, I didn't end up in any crap whatsoever, which is one piece of advice for people. This is going to seem a bit wrong on many people's levels, but if you can get away with it, get away with it. I mean, they're bullies, they don't deserve any kind of sympathy, but why not just do whatever the hell you want? That's That was my solution. My solution was, if they're going to start with me, I'm just going to fight back and start back, and I'm not going to take any of their bullshit, and this the, the person didn't really bully me much after that, because unfortunately for him, when I threw the chair, it, was, it would have just been damaging, but it kind of caught weirdly and spun as it hit him. So it actually took a chunk out of his back with one of his legs, with one of the chair legs, should I say. Uh, so that kind of solved a lot of my problems and all the teachers were still on my side. So it got to the point where the bullies had really no opportunity to try and do anything. And if they did, they knew it would end pretty badly for them. And to be fair, it it didn't stop them completely. There was a few instances after that, but it... it it was no longer ever as severe as it was at that point and I kind of escaped from most of the crap that was happening and it was good for me, it worked out but I can safely say that the person I am now is nowhere near the person I was then back then I would just take all the abuse and all the emotion and just let it bottle up and then I'd just explode but right now if someone tried to bully me I'd just well throw them flat on their ass is the only way I can think about it, uh, think of putting it. So 
I kind of overcome the uh, innocent person that can be picked on by anything kind of thing. I'm I'm more more confident in my person. It's like back in high school, I hadn't had a girlfriend all high school. Never like one. I had one girlfriend in the entire of high school, and that was in my last year, and that didn't turn out very well either. And now not to sound like a bit of a whore but I've had quite a lot of girlfriends uh, my confidence it just boosted out which was thanks to quite a few guys a few of my friends in college and because I actually found real friends whereas my friends in high school weren't exactly that until the last year again which kind of coincides with me actually getting a girlfriend which makes sense in my head now I think about it but yeah, this is getting a bit off the topic now. Uh, so it's about bullies and everything that the bullies do to you. And well, I've given you one solution. One solution is to just fight back. But that's not always the best solution because for me it worked because I had the entirety of the staff of the school on my side. I had very supporting family that were always giving the school shit, which is why the school ended up on my side. And then I had the... I, I didn't have... I'm not exactly strong, but once I explode, it's very hard to stop me, is all I can really say. And it it's just, I guess, raw willpower is the only way I can think of it. And even if they're dealing more damage to me than I'm dealing to them, I'm still going to end up on top simply because I won't stop. That's the only way I can think about it. That That's my solution. That was not the best solution for anyone other than me most of the time. Some people it's worked for, some people it has definitely worked for, but I'm not going to say do that. That's probably not the best thing to do in the world, not your first option anyway. Other options is ignore it. Bullies a lot of the time will get bored if you ignore them. They bully you for a reaction, they think it's funny, they think it's a laugh with their friends. If a bully's by themselves they won't do it because when you're by yourself you don't really find things like that funny. You become more of a reasonable member of society and you think why would I bother doing that? It's the the kind of psychology that when you're in a group it, it a group of bullies together it just makes it so they find things like that and they want to single out people and bully them and you'll very rarely get bullied by a single person if you're getting bullied by a single individual then it's usually because there's something fundamentally wrong with their life and they want to take it out on somebody else so if it's like a group of people obviously you are probably not going to try and fight them back i i, I got bullied by one two people at the maximum at a time. That's why I was able to fight back. If I was bullied by four or five, I probably would have tried to fight back still, but it would have ended badly. Because like say, anger explosion, you don't really think about things after that. And so ignoring them, ignoring them can actually work. It can stop them from being interested in you. They'll move on to someone else. And as harsh as that is, that's kind of just life. If you want to get rid of them from bullying you, you kind of have to give them somebody else to move on to but don't in any way shape or form start bullying somebody else to make them the lower of the food chain that is a solution many people have taken they go bully somebody else makes them lower than them and that makes the bullies realize that this person they're picking on isn't low to low and sometimes you know he's bullying them he's kind of cool we'll have him with us because that's all that leads to is you being a bully as well and having some of the most false friends you could ever have in your life so that don't do but ignoring them so they get bored and then move on to somebody else is perfectly fine. Another one is, as the term goes in school, grass them up. The the more you tell people about what's happening to you, I told all teachers constantly and I told my uh, mother, as sad as this sounds, I was in high school though, you go to your mother and your father for shit like that in high school. I told people constantly what was happening to me and it constantly got me support, it got me everybody on my side it got me help it allowed me to go to the therapy in the end for the anger and everything and it made it so even when I had an explosion of anger it wasn't all put on me it was like well you had an explosion of anger you need to kind of sort this out but we know why you did it you did it because these guys are dickheads it's kind of that solution but yeah telling people can help because if you've got if you're in a school which is very serious on bullies then 
worst comes to worst, they get rid of them. They're totally kicked out of school. You don't have to worry about them anymore, so who cares? It's their own fault that if they're going to ruin their own education just by being bullies, then you don't have to feel sorry for it whatsoever. So just keep telling, keep being open to everyone about what's happening, and then they're gone. Another solution, which has worked for some people, is teaming up with other people that get bullied. I mean, a group of bullies will individually pick on one person, but if you're in a giant group of other nerds and geeks, uh, it gets to the point where a bully isn't going to try and pick on a bloody group double the size of his group. That's what bullies are like. They pick on the smaller people and being a group of people stops you being a smaller person. You're in a group, you're strong. People together in a group is strength. So being in a group of like-minded people, being in a group of friends, that helps as well. It stops it stops you being a target, really. It's like when people huddle together so a shark doesn't attack them in the water. It's the same kind of bloody thing, except less visual and more mental. Now, th those are some of the solutions, but uh, there is like side effects bullying can have on people. I would like to touch on that as well. And, well, for one, the, the side effect it had on me, I lost all my confidence during high school until I got proper friends, and I had the anger explosions, as I've already stated, and that can be quite troublesome. It, I had to go to therapy for crying out loud. <laughs> it gets to you. You have to work through stuff. You have to overcome stuff. If you're going to get beaten down psychologically by these bullies, then it's not very healthy for you. That's one thing I have to say against all bullies, you have to remain psychologically strong, because if they break you down, then they basically win. You, even if you can't beat them physically, you need to beat them mentally. You need to constantly stay stronger than them and above them, because let's face it, if for them to bully you, there's something wrong in their life. A bully will only bully someone because there's something wrong in their life, although I have to say there has been an increase in people just bullying and doing crime and stuff for the hell of it because it's fun and that's something about these newer generations that's happening it's like uh, I think it was pretty fresh in my generation it happened before but it started increasing recently very recently and people just do stuff because they think it's funny and it's like why, why would you find hurting another human being hilarious why would you find breaking someone down mentally hilarious why would you find stealing something from a shop hilarious? It's a very recent thing that, I mean, it happened before, but it's very recent that it's become popular among people that are groups of bullies, that they just do it for no particular reason, whereas in the past it was like, I'm doing this because my life's shitty and I want to take it out on someone. It's kind of strange, but yeah, I got a bit off topic again there, but it's still on bullies, it's still, you know, to know why a person's bullying you is a very good reason to be able to overcome them as well. If you know that their life is shit and that's why they're bullying you, I mean, let's face it, some people in the past have actually confronted their bully with the fact that they know their life is pretty shitty and can basically win the bully psychologically. The bully will break down. Sometimes it leads to even one of the closest friendships I've ever seen. I've seen it happen. And it's... It's all depending on the person, really. The person that's being bullied and the person that's bullying. It's depending on what person it is that's happening to and who's doing it. It depends on what solution you've got and what can actually help and what can. But for me, yeah, pure violence was the way I solved it. And again, do not use that unless it's your only solution. There, there is many better ways to come overcome something than that many many better ways so well, just a quick recap I guess if you're being bullied solutions uh, tell people o o ignore them overcome it just psychologically you need to all of, all of those actually help in like psychological warfare we'll call it warfare why not it, they all help they all let you win psychologically Th those three help with that that one of the last very last approaches is violence do not I repeat do not 
go to this unless 100% necessary people are going to probably hate me for thinking violence is an answer but sometimes people just need to be sat the fuck down is the only way I can uh, put it politely <laughs> even though that wasn't politely whatsoever uh, people are bullying you probably because there's something wrong with their life or because they're doing it for kicks if they're doing it for kicks they are just a scum member of society and don't deserve any attention or anything at that point then I definitely do come down to violence because they just need to learn their lesson sometimes uh, people being bullied need to stick together, they need to tell people as much as possible and that also comes together with sticking together because you don't have to just tell teachers, you can tell your friends and that by that they will stick with you, you need to you need to just stay strong is the only way I can think of it, you have to you have to stay strong. There's, I mean, on the plus side for people, nerds and geeks, all them, this is the plus side that goes along with side with all the downsides of bullying getting worse and stuff. Geeks and nerds are more the in thing now. We are the majority in high school, let's face it. Nerds and geeks, very, very most of the time, are the majority in their high school. I can't say for every high school, but for most, you probably will be more more of you than there is of the jocks and whatever you want to call them. We call them chavs in England, America calls them jocks, I don't know what your area calls them, whatever. Uh, you, you, you're you, probably more of you than there is of them, which helps with the sticking together. If you want, I mean, at the same time, bullies will probably be less towards nerds and geeks because them themselves probably go home and play some Call of Duty. It's more of the in thing, it's what everyone does. But yes, do everything in your power to just stay strong. I got affected by this. It ruined the first four years of my high school. Do not let it ruin your high school years and even in your college years people can get bullied. I mean, someone tried to bully me, bully me in college. I just punched him square in the face. I nearly got kicked out for it, but I regret nothing, I can say that. And it, you just got to stay strong. It's the only way. Stay strong. Stay together and stay strong and nothing can stop you from fulfilling your high school years, your college years. University I don't think is as bad. I think university is very open for people because it's all, all universities have mixed races, genders and all this, all these religions and stuff and they all come together quite nicely in university whereas before that it's all individualize and targeting each other which makes you really wonder why after university it goes back to being how it was before it it's like if you can get along in university because you're all sharing the same classroom why can't you get on after when you're sharing the same fucking planet but yes that was my rant about the earth then never mind that that'll probably be another one because i do want to rant about that uh so yeah I hope this has helped in some way. I mean, it's very obvious things, but sometimes people don't think of the obvious things and they just need a push in the right direction and hopefully that's what this has done. I wanted this one to be a lot more constructive and helpful than my first one, which was me just venting out my emotions. And I have some emotions put out into this, but it's not as bad because I overcome everything, so it's not something currently affecting me, but it did affect me in the past. And if it's affecting you, say something about it. I mean, even as much or as little, should I say, as commenting on this and saying something about it, that's getting it off your chest. That's getting it out there. It's on a bloody public video you are got the confidence to say it on a public video then your confidence will get boosted and you'll have the confidence to say it to someone else and you'll have the confidence to say it to another person and that's what starts it that's what helps you just need to have this first oomph this first burst of confidence and after that first burst of confidence everything else starts sliding together and it helps everything together uh, fold and meld everything together I'm doing some massive flailing of my hands here it's like some bloody promotional speech it's like some feel-good crap and I don't really want all this series to be that but it's gonna end up being because you've got to try and bloody make people feel happier about themselves and feel more confident about themselves so that they can do something about their life and actually get off their ass and do something because let's face it a lot of people are lazy nowadays but that's not on the subject of bullying anymore I'm getting far too off the subject so please leave a like please comment please subscribe if you haven't already and this is Jeff the King signing out